Hello everybody. For almost 60 years I've flown line of sight with my RC models and airplanes. I don't think about it really. It's become natural for me and many others of you I'm sure. So with FBV, especially the quads, I have trouble with them. Uh, I also get distracted when I hear them flying behind me. You know, like it's somebody flying behind you at the flying site. Well anyway, uh, now if you've seen Highways videos though, you would be blown away at his low flying obstacle course. And I think of him every time I try to fly one of these things. <laughs> wow. Well this time I saw the ad on Gearbest for a hexacopter for under 100 bucks. So I decided to try again. So as we get going here, this is what I found I liked about it and disliked about it. Now this thing's supposed to have altitude hold on it and I've tried it and tried it I can't get that to work so I don't think that actually happens. Also I have a problem with the quads because they stop and they are absolutely too stable I think uh, for the FPV and that's hard to get used to uh, you know flying and stopping and backing up <laughs> it just doesn't happen with airplanes. This is the speed button. One, two, three. One, one, two. That's high speed. I'm going to fly it in that. Uh, you can use the battery from the Alien. It's 780 milliamp. This is 800 in here. It's good to have two batteries because uh, the three bladed prop uses a lot. And this, uh, when spinning, is also a pretty heavy wind resistance. I think this is a little overkill. Um, you know, two-bladed or one-bladed would be better. But there's your size comparisons. See, if you look very close at this, you can see that this is threaded. So this little piece has to come off, and then we'll turn. I took the camera apart. As you see, I've made two small marks there. I can now uh, turn that. Well, this drone is under eight ounces, so just like the Alien 250, it does not need me to get permission from any of the airports or hospitals around to fly. You know, the last FBV that I reviewed was the Alien 250, and legally I flew it at the Grand Canyon. And here's a few shots. I want to try is the headless mode and the auto uh, return. When you push that down, it's supposed to auto return. So we're going to find. All right. Out. They say this thing can be thrown into the air too. So let's find out if that happens. Okay, that works.
Well, I like this machine. It's a novelty, six motors. But, uh, you know, some of the things, you know, to charge this 800 milliamp battery, you'd need at least a 500 milliamp charger to charge it in an hour and a half. So get some extra batteries. Otherwise, you can fly about five minutes every one and a half hours, and uh, that's what it takes to charge. Uh, six motors with a heavy lift, three bladed props continue to that heavy load and why the battery goes down. You know, also note the headless mode, which I really can't get my head around, will not work unless you bind it with the transmitter right behind the machine and lined all up. So if you're wondering why I keep buying these cheaper FPV machines, I'll say that I abide by one of my old Helicopter 9 flying tips and rules of thumb. And that is, learn on a Volkswagen first, and when you're done crashing it, then you can get the Porsche. So enjoy your day, and happy flying.